everybody. Okay, let's give this problem a try. So we are given these three cables and some force, vertical force. So if we start with the free body diagram, it just looks like that one vertical force and the three tensions. I'll call just call that F and I'll call this tension from A to C, tension from A to B, tension from A to D. These are all vectors. Okay, so it's kind of a 3D free body diagram, right? So we basically would like to decompose this into Cartesian components, but then we need each of these four forces decomposed into x, y, and z components so that we can put it here. Okay, so let's do that. So let's, starting with the easiest, like this force we know is unknown magnitude. So we don't know this. We don't know the magnitude. But we know the direction is in the z direction. So we have the unit vector in the z direction, right, k hat. How about this vector? We know the magnitude, 700, but how about the direction? Direction is this way, which we can define as a unit vector from a to b. Which, can we get that number? The unit vector from A to B is the vector from A to B divided by its own magnitude. So from A to B, I kind of wrote down the coordinates of all these points already. You can maybe pause and check it out to make sure right, that it's consistent. So from A to B in the x direction, is 2 minus 0. In the y direction, 3 minus 0. In the z direction, 0 minus 6. Right, so this is the vector from a to b. Then if you want a unit vector, divide by its own magnitude. Okay. So now we, got, we have this entire vector defined. Let's do the same for AC and AD. Okay, so from A to C, we don't know the magnitude, but the direction from A to C, right, A, here's A, here's C, so, so negative 1.5 minus 0, In the y direction, 2 minus 0. In the z direction, 0 minus 6. Right, and then divide by its own magnitude. And same for D, AD. We don't know the magnitude. This magnitude is unknown. But the unit vector from A to D, here's A. Here's D. So in the x direction, negative 3 minus 0. Y direction, negative 6 minus 0. Z direction, 0 minus 6. Okay, and then divide by its own magnitude. Okay, so we got all four vectors. So now we want to write this. So I'll Start where there's more space. So in the x direction, the x component of this, which is zero. The x component of this, which is 700 times two over this. Okay, so this is a uh, 
36, 49. So it happens to be square root of 49, so 7. Okay, so this is the x component of this. Then we want the x component of this. So that's negative 1.5 over that thing, TAC. And then the x component of this, minus 3 over this thing. So let's see, 36, 72, 81. Oh, so that's a perfect square, 9. OK, equals 0. And then we do the same thing for y, same thing for z. Okay, so, in, so the y component of this, 0. The y component of this, 700 times 3 over that. The y component of this, which is 2 over that thing, TAC. And then the y component of this, negative 6 over that, TAD. Equals 0. And then z, z component of this, f, which we don't know the magnitude, z component of this, 700 times negative 6 over that plus z component of this, negative 6 over this, TAC. And the z component of this, negative 6 over this, TAD. OK, so if you look at this, We got three equations, three unknowns. The three unknowns are TAC, TAD, F. Right? So then you can solve three equations, three unknowns. Let's set it up as a matrix equation and let the computer solve it. So if we set it up as a matrix, this is the first equation. So then look at the coefficients. So it's like there's 0, T, A, let's see, uh, there's a 0, F, if I write over here like 0 times F, you don't have to write that. Okay, so it's like 0 times f and then minus 1.5 over that this thing Right. And then TAC, and then minus one third TAD equals, and then I'll pick this up and move it on this side. So that's, uh, what is this? 200, right? So if I, this is 200, if I move it on that side, it becomes minus 200. Okay, now this equation, it's like saying 0 times F plus 2 over that square root TAC, this, minus 2 thirds TAD. And then I'll pick this up and move it on that side, which becomes minus 300. And now this equation, 1F minus 6 over that square root TAC, 
minus two thirds TAD. And then I'll pick this up and move it on that side. So this is 600, right? So negative oh, 600. So if I move it on this side, it becomes positive 600. There we go. So I'll, I'll say again, equation one is zero F minus 1.5 TAC minus one third TAD equals this on the side, negative 200. Let's see how it works. Okay, now let's have the computer solve this for us. Okay, so I opened up Octave. You can use MATLAB also, the syntax is the same. All right, let me take care of this pesky square root thing that I never figured out. So square root of 1.5 squared plus two squared plus six squared. Okay, oh, that's 6.5. Okay, I should have done that earlier. Okay, let's get this matrix in octave. So I will call this matrix A. I'll call this vector X. I'll call this vector B. So matrix A times vector X equals vector B. This is what I'm after. So to get this answer, you want to do like inverse of A, inverse of A like this, because this turns into identity. So then that's how we do it. But instead of solving for the inverse in Octave or MATLAB, there's a command where you can just type in like this, and it's a more efficient algorithm to solve the inverse of A times B. So let's do that. But first we need to input matrix A and vector B. So let's do that right now. Matrix A is the first row, 0, and then minus 1.5 over 6.5, and then minus 1 third. Then you press semicolon. That takes you to the next row. And then I'm just going to just so it looks nice on the screen. Go to the next line. 0, 2 over 6.5, minus 2 thirds. Okay, and then semicolon takes you to the next row. You can keep typing here actually. 1 minus 6 over 6.5, minus 2 thirds. But just for looks, since we're on the screen here. Okay. So if I just run this, right, this is the matrix right here, matrix A. And now vector B is the first row, negative 200. And then you press semicolon to get to the second row, which is negative 300. Semicolon, get to the third row, 600. So I have matrix A, vector B. The, what I'm after is the inverse of A times B, like this. Okay, But then I was mentioning that other computation. I'll just write it as another line, like this, A slash B. So see, both ways you get the same solution but just this one is computationally more efficient. So that's it. So F is 1060, TAC is 130, TAD is 510. Okay, so I hope that helps. Uh, keep studying. I'll see you in the next video.